Um, here is part two um, after my open heart surgery. A um, little complication and I lost the ability to use my tongue or half my tongue. So this half over here doesn't work. This half over here does work. So that's why I have this little speech impediment. Um, we are going to do, use a stethoscope and um, app and see what my heart sounds like now um, since we had it before. Let's check out the after. So this is what it sounds like now. It's amazing. It sounds like a real heartbeat, not like that squish. It, it, before, it sounded like a wet sponge. It really did. So, um, lost a bunch of weight. I don't know if you can see in the in the thing over there, but I am consistently now 233 pounds um, since I got back from the hospital. Before the surgery, I was 271, 72. I lost a lot of water weight. Apparently, um, the way my heart was not working correctly, I was uh, I had a lot of water on the lungs. I was collecting a lot of water on my body. That's why my face was so puffy. Everything was so puffy because my heart was not pumping correctly. So now that it's pumping correctly, which is awesome, um, all the extra water weight is gone. My weight is stabilized. Before the surgery, I could gain and lose up to 20 pounds a day, depending on how much water and salt I ate and drank. Unbelievable. So now, um, because of me not being able to swallow, I am on, I have a feeding tube and I have formula that I eat and it's keeping me at a perfect level. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's been a very interesting journey, especially this not being able to talk. I have a Fitbit. I'm walking over 10,000 steps a day and um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with everything except for this, which they said in two to four months, or maybe six months, this should completely go away. How awesome is that? So anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.